Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and we're talking CT5 Chapter 8, which is annuities and assurances for two lives. So this is where it starts getting interesting, where our contracts no longer depend on just one life, but they depend on two. And this was very important because they found that in this industry, couples were buying products, um, a husband and wife. So we're going to be looking at the mathematics of joint lifetimes and life survivor functions. I'm going to try to do this all in one video. Um, so let's see how we go. Okay, joint lifetime random variables. In a sense, you've got two types. You've got the one where um, as soon as the first person dies, it stops. So it's a couple, as soon as one member dies, the contract pays out. And then the second is um, both lives must die for the contract to pay out. So this contract, the one in red, it's kind of like where you married and you make a, a contract that when one of you dies, um, you get paid a, a benefit. In the second one, it's when you guys have children and you only need to pay the children an amount to look after them when both parents die. So it makes a lot of sense that um, TXY will be less than TXY bar because here both X and Y have to die, where here just X or Y has to die. Now, this colorful thing over here, you might want to take a, a screenshot of, or I'll get this one in here as well. Um, this is a very important relationships. So the probability of both X and Y surviving to time T is equal to the probability that X survives to time T times the probability that Y also survives to time T. Okay, now look what we're saying in the next line. TQXY bar, that's saying that um, life X and Y both die before time T is equal to the probability that X dies bef before times T times uh, the probability that Y dies before time T. And what's interesting is you're going to have to use... Um, you're going to have to use these guys very carefully because there isn't a relationship for TPXY bar. What you then have to do is first convert that into, T, into a TQ and then use this relationship. Force of interest, um, what we'll, you'll, rec you'll recognize from CT4 is that we add forces. Um, LXY is equal to LX times LY and DXY is equal to LX times LY minus LX plus one times LX Y plus one. Um, oh, and the big thing that we're doing here, and if we don't do this, the mathematics just falls apart, is we are assuming that the mortalities are independent. So the life of, of the man doesn't influence the life of the female. So the husband's life um, is independent of the wife's. Now we know in reality that couples normally drive together and death by car crash is quite common. So they will both share that uh, risk. However, if you take that into account, um, the mathematics gets really difficult. So it is an assumption. So just bear in mind when doing this that it's not 100% accurate. Um, the examiners have been nice to us otherwise we wouldn't be able to handle the mathematics. It would be very messy. And then uh, in green, what we've got here is KXY, and this is the, the length of time that both um, X and Y are alive. And the probability that it equals a certain age, you can see it's very similar um, to when it's just one life, and yeah, it's just an extension. So that's the cumulative distribution function, that's the probability distribution function, and yeah, let's, let's go into the examples. Um, the reason I'm going through quite quickly is because chapter 9 builds a lot more into this. This is very much an introductory uh, chapter to this whole thing. So I'm trying to, get, trying, to get, trying to get away with making this in one video. Um, these are just, yeah, you can see when it's 20 P4040, um, you can use our thing. But when it's Q, um, 
and it's not a bar, you have to first convert it so that we can get that relationship. And yeah, then that's also just an extension from earlier chapters. Uh, feel free to pause the video and read through it. Um, this is quite interesting. A bar X, Y, so this is the assurance value depending on both lives. You can see our integral is going to go T, P, X, Y and use that double force. Um, however, look, that relationship still holds with assurance and the annuities. Uh, there is a question, it's very simple, feel free to pause, have a little look at it. Um, here's another very important um, page, you might want to take a picture of this, and these are the relationships. And what's very interesting over here is that that almost resembles, well it is, it's a joint probability function. So the probability that x and y both die is equal to x dying plus y dying less um, you know, then both dying. So take a look at these values, they should kind of speak for themselves and then there is an example um, right at the end. I think I've got another example here as well but it's it's very very um, easy this chapter, like I said it does get difficult when we go to chapter 9. Um, but yeah, the big thing here to realize is is it the last survivor or must both people die in order for the benefit to pay out? And yeah, that is, um, should we go, oops, that is chapter 8, um, a very quick introduction to two lives, annuities and assurances. Make sure you know um, the, the knowledge behind this very well because chapter 9 does get very tricky. But I'll see you there. And uh, yeah, study hard, guys. Cheers.